Hi, Tefaldoot here, and today we're going to show you how to rip audio tracks from a CD or CD-ROM to an MP3 file using Windows Media Player. The reason we do this is often a lot of computers don't have CD-ROM drives. Also, it's good for you to save it on MP3 file as it will save it from being scratched or damaged in any way. So, let's start. First of all, we need to put a CD into your CD-ROM, which I have an external CD-ROM in the USB. You can see here, I've got an external CD-ROM and I've just put it in there. Next, we need to find Windows Media Player. So I'm going to type in Windows Media, and you can see it's the first one up. So we simply click on this icon, and you'll see we have the Media Player up. Now, when you open the Media Player, if you don't happen to see this page, you might see this image. So if you happen to see this image when you're playing a CD or music and you want to get to the other image, you have to move your mouse over the top and just click on this box, switch to library. And then it will switch back to the library and we can carry on doing what we're doing. Here's our DVD-ROM drive. If I actually click this, what happens is this is the CD-ROM of Masterclass, and it says uh, play the CD through a CD player using a media player. So it won't let me do it automatically here. So I've opened up the Windows Media Player, and make sure that you click on the album, because this could be what's in your library. So we'll click on the album, and there you can see the tracks. Now, before we rip the tracks, here you can see the rip. You've got the rip settings, and you can see uh, it says eject after ripping, rip automatically, audio quality is there, and the format is MP3. Make sure we have that. There's another way you can get, there's more options here, and you can see rip automatically, eject after CD ripping. If you can't see these settings here, you can right click anywhere here and just go to view and show menu bar. Then on the menu bar, you can see tools, go to options and rip music and the same settings are there. So let's start. Notice though that I don't have the name of the album or the artist or the genre or the year. I'm simply going to rip it as it is. You could add data to this, edit it, and call it album number one. But I'm going to make a separate video after this showing you how to put proper tags on your CD so that they get filed correctly. These don't do a very good job. So let's just rip the CD. You'll notice a window pops up and says, do you want to add copy protection. Well, I don't. So what I'm going to do is click on this, do not add copy protection, I understand, and then OK. Now it's starting to rip, and I'll pause while we let it rip. You can see here the status is ripping, and if you want to find out where this file is being ripped to, you can go to your music area and you'll see it comes under unknown artist if we double click on that and double click on that you can see track number one is being made that was 17 or seven minutes rather and that's been ripped and you can see the detail here if i right click on the name you can see you can get 
the size, uh, the length, and there I've added the length. If you don't see this structure, you need to go to view and just click on details, not list. You might have it as a small icon or something. Best to have it as details. Now I'll just pause while the ripping gets done and come back to you. Okay, so there are the tracks recorded. We have a little message here saying the media information can't be downloaded. This is because if you were to rip a CD of an album, then you could get the information automatically. So here are our tracks. The last one was an error. If we look here, we've got 11 tracks. We can simply just retick this one and click rip CD. And then it will just have another attempt to rip it. So don't worry if they don't all get ripped properly. Again, it's an error. Let's try again. Seems to be working better this time. And there you have it. All of the 12 tracks have been ripped and we can view them here in the library. Now I'm going to go back to the media player and eject this CD and watch as I eject it, it will disappear. So I've taken it out, it's disappeared and now we're going to play the tracks that we recorded. So I'll just double click on this track. Unit 2, page 14. And in order to see it, you may have to press this word play here. And there you can see the track there. Listening, exercise one. And what you can also do is go back to this view here in the bottom, where it will be much smaller for you. And if you have this media player on top of a PDF that you're showing, it will be better to have it in this small version. You will hear a journalist called Richard Pryor. Okay, and so you'll notice, once again I mentioned that the file, there's no artist mentioned, there's no album mentioned. However, the track is mentioned and the order, which is what we need. And I'll show you in the next video where we put our own data in, just so that once you put this file onto your phone or any mp3 playing device the tracks will be properly organized otherwise they get lost in album covers called unknown artist so what i'm going to do is put another cd in now and just show you how sometimes this is a teacher's cd sometimes you can take audio directly from the cd without having to use the media player so if i open up there, you can see it's already opened up. Here's the drive. If I double click on it, it just opens like this. But notice one thing. Let's say I want to copy these audio resources. Well, you'll notice one thing that if I did copy them over, with 98 megabytes, very simple act. You just drag and drop, and then you have the MP3 files on your computer. But once again, I want to remind you that these files don't have, if we look at them, they don't have a title, they don't have a number order, they don't have the artist or album. So if you were to put these onto your phone or MP3 device, they might end up in a messy order and you don't know which one. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to add a tracking number and title, an artist to your mp3 files and that also goes for music files because sometimes you might get an album from a friend copy it and you find that actually all the data has been erased and i'm going to show you how to get music data as well so watch the next video while we do this i'm just going to close this off you can see it's all copied now so here we've copied the audio files, but like I said, there's no tracking, there's no 
uh, album. There might be length of time, but that's it. So watch the next video as we learn how to add tags to all of these files. See you on the next video.